you have entered the Chronix rabbit hole. And Louis Santa, thank you so much for your YouTube membership request and for bringing the Odyssey back down the rabbit hole. We are finishing off this amazing movie with yes. three songs in a row here, starting with Mother, Delilah, and finishing off with The Third Eye. I'm so excited to finally go to finish the odyssey this has been such a intriguing and interesting and heartfelt movie that we've been watching from florence and the machine but why would she put out anything less than that you got that so right. this is going to be such a treat to finally finish off this movie and the story that florence is telling for us thank you so much Luisana. thank you all for being here let's get into it Thank you all for being here, and if you have not seen our other reactions to the uh, the beginning songs on the Odyssey, please go check out those videos, and we will put them in the description below, and probably in some cards at the top of the video when you're watching this. Also, um, our good friend Louis Santa told us that at the very end, the credits has a song that plays, but it doesn't finish all the way, so we're actually going to stop right before the credits begin, because... Next month, we want to listen to that song and it's full. Anyways, we are starting with Mother here, and we definitely remember how this ends. And she was like getting taken by her friends mm -hmm. in many different directions and hugging all of them. And yeah, yeah, so now she's here, and let's see how the mother begins. These are still a violent mother. The blood run here pours down the water. Well. Each wave alarm led to the slaughter. And like children that she just can't teach, we break and break and break, and break ourselves upon the beach. When she's doing those these type of a cappella performances, this is sometimes how I think she like her music comes to her. Absolutely, absolutely, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Make me, make me a big tall tree so I can shed my leaves and let it flow to me, mother. Make this is just a place she visit, pastor. So I can rain on you. Things I can't say out loud, and all these couples are kissing, and I can't stand the heat. I lost my shoes and left the party. I wandered in the street. I put my feet into the fountain. Statues all asleep. No use wishing on water. Like I said, that this was what I wanted. Um... Nobody stays here. If you can leave, you will leave here. You think you have lost your faith, but you have not. You have only misplaced your faith. And you can find it where it lies now, deep in your soul. And the way to do that is through the simple process of love. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Forgive yourself. You can't love and forgive other people if you don't, first of all, love and forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. Got that right. You have to realize that people are fallible beings. Yeah. They make mistakes. 
Yes. They have to be excused from these mistakes and allowed to continue on in their quest for a better life and for goodness. Mm -hmm. So oh. love yourself and then love other people. Please forgive yourselves. Wow, I think that's her father. Go on a journey of finding love and forgiveness. Love people. Wow. And I think why that's such a powerful statement at the end, what that gentleman was saying there is forgiving yourself, especially for Florence here, another form of yourself is your mother as well. Mm -hmm. And like that dynamic <laughs> and what needs to happen there for your growth and all that mm -hmm. and how it affects your relationships if that relationship with your mother isn't really figured out too Absolutely. and all that. So. I thought that was full, uh, awesome full circle because that also applies to any relationship or anyone that's going through stuff. You have to start forgiving yourself in order to actually forgive others forgive and have others. any chance of reconciliation. Absolutely. And what Florence is going through in this whole odyssey, it's it's really just such a cool story to mm -hmm. see the transformation of what she's going through. I really, the one thing that really stuck out for me right before um, that, that, that kind of sermon yeah. was um, she was talking to, I think it was her boyfriend, and she, she's like, I'm going to stay. And he's like, what? And she's like, well, I think that's what I want. And he's like, no one stays here. You're going to leave. The moment you have the ability to leave or the option to leave, right? no one stays. Right? And they're talking about, like, the place and the lifestyle mm -hmm. and everything about it. and. Yeah. So, like, it's such a pondering thought and then going into that sermon right after it and trying to make that choice. What do I want? Yeah, because he can't forgive himself, that guy, if he's saying no one's going to stay because he doesn't think he's worthy of people staying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, very, very cool. I loved the Odyssey so far. Yeah, and that, that a cappella was really cool to blend that with. I'm yeah. glad that you heard what she was saying because that was very faint. So, well done for actually like, <laughs> tuning into that part specifically. Okay, yeah. so now we are doing Delilah, which is a song that we have heard before, mm -hmm. but we're very excited to see the version on this. Drifting through the halls with the sunrise. Oh, oh she's not cutting her hair, she's cutting his hair. Climbing up the walls for that flashing light. I can never let go Cause I'm gonna be free oh, and I'm gonna be fine Holding on for your cause Cause I'm gonna be free and I'm gonna be fine Maybe not tonight Now the sun is up and I'm going blind Holding on for your cause Another drink just to pass the time I can never say no Cause I'm gonna be free and I'm gonna be fine
Wow, that was a good one. I love that song so much. <laughs> yeah. Like, that is, we've heard this song before, but, like, it doesn't matter how many times I hear this song, it always brings me to tears. And this full film brings it out even more, yeah. like we knew it would. <clears throat> what was getting you at the moment that started you? Um, just the beautifulness of the song itself. It's it's the beauty of the song and the represent and to have such an up pace representation of the life that she was living and the style of everything that she was going for through. All the pills because needed. it's. As much as it's like a devastating story, when you're in the midst of it, it's it's a party. It's a party lifestyle. It's a party lifestyle. Yeah. And that is my, what I went, my lifestyle that I had was like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mirrored right, huh? by that. So yeah. like for me, it's such, Self -reflection. A, um, it's such a personal story for me. So yeah. that's also where I connect a lot with um, Florence and really what she's empathize talking about. Her. I empathize with that a lot. Yeah. So like, <clears throat> that's why this is a song that I love so much because not only Florence's voice, that is just absolutely just um, jaw dropping. It brings out all that raw <clears throat> emotion in a very specific way. Yeah. And because um, there's so many different ways to bring out emotion, but the way Florence does it so specifically with her raw. voice, she strips you raw. And then she's such a artistic mover. Yeah. With everything. So, so she embodies everything. Embodied. I love that praying scene where yeah. they were putting their head on the end of the bed on their knees and like it was just constant mm -hmm. repentance that they were looking for and then always returning back to the same party returning yeah. back to the same party and then that going cycle. back to those moments it was a never-ending cycle and there are so many times in that because like when you're like that's a lot of praying and it's like sometimes it's praying and sometimes you're just hitting your head sometimes it's just regret right so like it, it's it really is that kind of a moment and then, then she brings it out so well it's in the contemporary dance and style that she contemporary has. Contemporary dance. And that's well said. Thank you so much. Because that is what she brings to the table as well as her contemporary dancing style with the way that she performs her music. And mm -hmm. I love this. I wasn't expecting to get so affected by Delilah as well. Um, that was incredible. We are now on the third eye. And like we said, we're stopping it right before the credits here. This has been a great time. Thank you all for being here with the Odyssey journey with us. Uh you ready, hun? Shouldn't have worn mascara. <laughs> I'm ready. Have you ever ridden on the top of a car? I don't think I have. I'm sure you have. <laughs> <laughs> you partied a lot more than I did. <laughs> have you ever lost your shoes? I've lost my shoes, that's for sure. <laughs>
So everyone's gone. Just following someone out. Yeah. To go perform. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to Oh. Holy snap. Okay. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. So beautiful. How beautiful. That's the Odyssey. Yeah, that that Bravo. sure is the Odyssey. Bravo. Bravo to everyone involved in that. Vincent Haycock for directing that. Oh, man. Florence and the Machine for performing. That is so real and so raw and such a... Um, Journey. Such a beautiful journey, almost such a beautiful diary, even like a memoir yeah. of really what she has um trials and tribulations. Her tri her personal trials and tribulations, and even at the very end, because I it, I love how she said, I'm the same, I'm the same, I'm trying to change. Because when you live and have lived that lifestyle. It doesn't matter how much you change, how much you try to change. There is always a draw towards it. Yeah. Because there, once you're addicted and invited it in. It's, and you've invited it in. That... There's always that little draw to it. And yeah. there is something that there's something specific about that lifestyle that really changes you at like it, it, it is becomes a foundation and a core of your being. Because it opens because, you up to experience, but then yeah, maybe to some of the bad stuff too. And, so, and there's a lot of traumas and there's also so many good times that come from it as of course, well. Of course. Right? Because like there's so many and things. you're human so like you can fail and forgive right? and you still and you can fail you can forgive humans are fallible and that's why there has to be that mercy and that forgiveness yeah and it's and so like this whole these three songs together was really perfect and this whole really movie too is something you need to do from start to finish isn't it it really is and it's like it it is one of those start to finish things that i'm so happy we've done it i'm happy I'm, I'm more than happy that we did it in the two pieces like the two parts up until this last video being the all the last three but it's this really is a one take sequence of course to yeah to get the full emotion of everything that it Did is not lose any of the story thread when i thought we did a pretty good job after watching this over i think a three-month period or even a little bit longer yeah. and um I, i'm so glad that it still affected us this much because crying with two songs back to back is really hard to do honestly especially in front of a camera too and the way that florence can break your walls down it, it's so impressive because Really, you need a release um, sometimes, and that's what I think Florence does for a lot of people around the world that are having a hard time getting over stuff, is she allows you to feel like you can let go and not go too overboard because she has a dancing way of letting it go, where it's like, yeah, I'm dan like I'm crying, but I'm going to kind of dance while doing it and talk with people and like have a way to have a community, and that's why she 
doesn't even want to start a family yet herself because she is so connected with how many people that are being saved by her music and, and what she's and pushing her, forward her and everything and about everything. it in the community, right? So yeah, it's just so incredible. Florence's community is so powerful. Nice They're so clo- tight-knit and close together with one another. She has a community of, of, of fans and listeners that have a whole different spirit that's on a whole next level. Yeah, everyone I know that love yeah. Florence are just incredible people from incredible top to down. Incredible people. Inside and out. So, like, I... I... I'm still collecting myself. <laughs> um, this, so Od- hot. this Odyssey was so powerful, and it just shows how much heart Florence has to, and how raw she is just as a human being because she opened herself up to the absolute deepest delps that you could within with within this the, the making of this piece and then those acapella moments with her songs i love how you had said how you think that's when she's singing and her music comes to her that would be the way it comes to her I, yeah and walking at night just touching stuff and she's thinking the lyrics as she's going it's like oh yeah that would work so good together textile with like her yeah. movements like you could tell she's like a, embodying the moment she thought of the song when she's performing yeah barefoot and beautiful as she's coming up with her music and she's this this has been heart-wrenchingly beautiful and i can't yeah. wait to see what else for her, has right? for for us because every time I know that she's coming down the rabbit hole, it always uplifts me. So thank you so much, Louisiana, for bringing this to us. Chronicans, thank you so much for spending time with us. Louisiana, thank you again for this request and bringing us down the whole Odyssey journey. And for letting us know about the song that was going through the credits. And we're looking forward to hearing that song as well. Also, if you guys do watch this whole thing together we'll throw all the reactions in a playlist so that you can see it from start to finish and i can't wait to see that again too Uh, hopefully you all had a good time and had some healing moments yourself we are now exiting the rabble hole folks thank you all so much for being here with us chronicans peace and love everyone god bless y'all take care and bye for now you are now exiting enter the chronics rabbit hole for your participation. Make sure to follow, subscribe, and put on notifications. We will see you all next time. Stay tuned, tell your friends about us, and God bless. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it this far in the video. If you like this channel, remember to subscribe right here and if you want to subscribe to the artist that you just heard remember it is right here and if you're excited to see another video that we think you might like click here thank you so much chronicans for making it this far we love you so much